Welcome Trolls. <laughs> completely changed my life entirely finding out that something was up on the moon i'm a very spiritual person i respect god i believe in god we each have our own different beliefs right which is very normal i've accepted that like every step of the way you can't force religion onto people but there's one thing we're allowed sharing our beliefs and my belief is that someone or something is up on the moon look at the change in directions um, in the lights on the surface and that changed my life right because a lot of people base their lives on religion and what they learned about religion so I'm not asking people to change your religion but I'm asking you to integrate this in your belief system because whatever this is if you think it's just nothing and it could be just debris or smoke you know you could be right so therefore you leave it at that you can watch the videos and appreciate them for the beauty that's out in the moon, just debris, whatever. But for some, <laughs> some people know that there's something out there, as I do. And it's not about proving it, but it's about sharing uh, my findings. And I appreciate so much each and every one of you coming here. Listen, during a pandemic, during a crisis time, thank you. Well, I'm seeking the truth, and I want to know what's on the moon. And now that I know that there's something or someone up there, I'm going to share it with you guys. What am I seeing? I have no idea. Nobody knows. NASA doesn't know. The military, the governments don't know. They never will. There's too many species out there. There's too many different worlds and things that are so complex that we have no idea what they are. We're talking about portals. We're talking about now for the first time witnessing black holes shooting out of galaxies come on we're like at the beginning of time look at the mirrors here how they have no lights in them just more details i'm trying to notice more symmetrical cutouts right uh, from the north side of the moon and the dark side we we'll probably have more structures because you see only the top side of the moon with those lights that are coming down um yeah aristarchus there's movement inside of those lights so the crater is bigger than the whole screen we're close up. You bring down the exposure. You add a filter of color to be able to see uh, an artificial uh, filter, uh, artificial light also that I add sometimes to get things brighter on the surface like you just saw. Now we're in infrared. Last night's capture, one of the only ones, of course, the f beautiful bright light UFO getting bright close to the, the house, but has a partner following along with it, which... Only recently I've been starting to see that, taking note, documenting, documenting what I can see. We're going to see a SpaceX satellite Starlink train, what it looks like. We're going to see the difference of it after following it for two days as it appeared at 935 um, over the horizon. Just to say when the sun had set a couple of maybe half an hour after. So here's a SpaceX satellite that you could see distance out passing along Venus. Should have started by the first day, duh. Doesn't matter. We'll go back to the first day. We'll see the difference and compare compare them. So now hang on. A lot of videos are out there with satellite trains, but this one, don't forget guys, this is infrared, okay? So the lights that you're seeing uh, occurring are not like you would see with a regular camera. Sure, you could see them with a regular camera for a certain time only at a certain size. So here's day one. You see that they're separating out. Look at them flash as they are adjusting the solar panels. I was following exactly what they were doing. And this is over Canada, the satellite Starlink SpaceX train going over Canada. Two of them, you're looking at one of 60 and you're looking at one of, uh, I think it was 40, something like that, that was launched a couple of weeks ago. Yesterday, there was another one, Starlink mission, launched. So we should be expecting to see another satellite train like this that's going to appear in the skies in many countries. You'll be seeing it this week, probably already some out there, and they will be distancing themselves out. You see how small they already are? 
Imagine them climbing once they climb up into orbit. You'll never see them again. Probably not very often. Two UFOs infrared crossing paths here with a simple purple filter. Here we're looking at um, a UFO that's going to expand, I think. It, no, it, the crossing paths. That's right. There's one going across downwards, different intensity of lights. So there's a lot of activity out there, right? UFO activity in the sky all the time that's flying by. We're going to get so much this summer. Guys and gals, I'm waiting for that. Look at the lights. Check it out. Play it again. Look at the lights occurring around this uh, UFO. And here, too, when you look really close up, um, which is, by the way, the same way uh, NASA shows its asteroids, right? You see pixelation when NASA shows an asteroid. You must know it. Just those of you following NASA know exactly what it looks like when they show an asteroid. They get it so close that you see just those big square pixels over the lights. Uh, chemtrails, why are they spraying the sun? I have no idea, but I know for a fact chemtrails exist. They're not contrails. <laughs> Get informed. Chemtrails have been around for an eternity. No, but since 1950s, that's for sure, late 50s, as they started spraying over New York. And, yep, yeah, they started spraying because of uh, drought and uh, to try to make it rain more. And now more countries are doing so themselves. So this is, I assume, the space station. Maybe it's not, right? I have no idea what it would look like. Maybe it's not supposed to be hovering around the moon, right? But it, again, it went by between Earth and the moon. But that's my shot of the space station. And this is with a five inch scope with my Celestron, uh, 1200 uh, focal length, uh, beautiful telescope, but a lot smaller. I would have loved to have caught it with the 14 so obviously the closer we zoom in the blurrier it will be 419,700 kilograms um, the international space station is a modular space station it's said to be in lower earth orbit the iss program is a multinational collaborative project between uh, many people my friends participating space agencies nasa Roscosmos, JAXA, ESA, CSA, um, a whole slew of other people joining um, this space station, right? So the length of it is 73.0 uh, meters, 73 meters, which is 239.4 feet. The width, 109.0 meters, which is 357.5 feet, with the cost of 150 billion USD dollars. So... From what I remember, I think it's seven kilometers or something like that, or seven miles per second. Do you see it there in the center, on, on the top, coming down? Looks like the Canadian flag. <laughs> um, looks like two or three branching pieces. You can see the line going in the center. And like I said, maybe it's not the space station, right? It doesn't look like it's going very fast, does it? This is over Mare Crisium that you see on top there, the first white patch. Coming down is actually where the landing is. It's actually going directly over uh, the 1969 landing, right in the bottom there. That's where it's um, exactly headed to. So you see it coming down. Space Station's up on the corner on the right there, if you want to get an idea what it could look like, because that's basically what it is with the panels you could see and, and again if it's not the space station well it's definitely something cool that i caught right going over top uh who knows a satellite i mean i'm sorry it just looks so much like this obviously uh, that's what i'm getting and in the dark well that's basically what i'm seeing is just the two lines and that um other um uh, other panels in the center but we can see also in the footage almost looks like it's monitoring something over mere chrysium mere fecunditatis is on the right it's going down towards the landing spot from 69 and uh, yeah the only capture i ever saw that literally looked like it's going over the moon but in reality it was right over my head crawl face thanks man 
Thanks everyone for the ongoing support, the contributions, and for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. More videos on the way. I'll see you all at the live stream tomorrow.